Around 130 Aussie tourism operators will converge on Auckland this weekend for the Talk Travel Expo. Now, the annual event run by Tourism Australia showcases the best Australia has to offer. It does come, though, amidst a still challenging economic environment, which is seeing fewer Kiwis are travelling abroad. Uh, for more on this, I'm joined by new head of Tourism Australia, Andrew McAvoy. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Corin. Uh, give us a sense. I mean, how important is the New Zealand market to Australia? It's really important. It's about 20% of all in international travel into Australia. Um, there's a about 1.1 million trips taken by Kiwis every year to our country. It's worth $2 billion into our country, Australian. Um, and I think it's pretty, pretty important coming back the other way with about a million Australian trips coming back this way. And at the, at the Oztalk uh, Expo, what, uh, you've got the trade element and also consumer element. What can people expect there? 300 travel agents from New Zealand coming into New Zealand to meet 135 Australian products and experiences, hotels, accommodation, attractions. On Sunday they'll be there as well and consumers can come down to the showgrounds and uh, see the Aussies at their best. A lot of great performance as well. Stan Walker, the Aussie uh, Kiwi Idol, will be there um, as well as a guy called Mark Oliver who's an Aboriginal chef and a whole bunch of other entertainment at the showgrounds Sunday. Mark, welcome yeah. to New Zealand. Oh, thanks, thanks a lot, Paul. Very quickly talk us through some of the things that you brought over with you, because these are these are Indigenous foods. Indigenous foods to Australia, and it's been great. I've been able to come here and talk with Charles and do a bit of cross-cultural cooking, so it's been really, really fun this morning. I've brought in things like the lemon myrtles, and we've got the aniseed myrtles and the wattle seeds, and I'm going to be cooking some prawns with the, the lemon myrtle, but are also these, some These are commonly oil. used in Australia? Um, getting there, right. yeah. But um, a lot of people are starting to hook onto what we have in our own backyard. All right, very now. quickly, let's walk us through the meats that we've got on the plate here. OK, now, um, I sent up a little taster for you earlier on. The um, meats that are starting to come out in Australia now are things like the kangaroo chorizo, so lots of paprika in a Spanish style. We have crocodile sausages, mm -hmm. so really nice meat, very, very tasty. Also a bit of smoked crocodile if you want to try a bit. Is that ready to go, is it? That's the ready to crocodile? go. Because I think... It's really, really tasty. It's got a, a lovely. Um, I don't know why, it. but it doesn't taste as I would imagine crocodile would taste. It's a nice, yeah, nice it's a meat. Nice isn't meat. It? Yeah. It's a very nice meat. And we've got um, kangaroo sausages coming out now as well. But I've also got some fillet and over here on the, on the kangaroo on the fillet. And I've done an Australian fillet, and I've put a little bit of uh, Charles's piri piri. Um, okay, herb. okay, Mark, you you turn that into something, Pippa. Charles, you're very well known. We know you've just used some of your piri piri. You're very well known with your herbs and things like this. And gosh, our local cuisine is very colourful, isn't it? It sure is. Yep, there's, um, there's a little bit of pickle pickle in there and hakeka, which is the um, the ear fungus that grows on the tree. Mm -hmm. okay. Sounds very appealing, doesn't yep. it? Ear fungus. Ear fungus. <laughs> and this is our pirita vine, which grows in the bush as well, so it's got lots of fibre, very healthy. Uh, two taikuri, Māori potatoes, got the purple. Lovely. And uh, then we've got some hoo-hoo grubs. They are, are they dead now? They're dead now. Oh, Thank God for that. It tastes like um, <laughs> peanut butter. Oh, tastes you just go like sell crazy butter. somewhere else. It might be too hot, actually. Now, to see these guys in action, the Oztalk Travel Expo is on at the ASB Showgrounds this Sunday, and I believe it's free. Does that sound right to you? Yes. Yes, let's say it is. Let's say it is. Actually, so, that's not um, bad. So worth checking out at the ASB Showgrounds on Sunday. And we've got a bit of an Aussie theme here now. He's an Australian artist, cultural ambassador and more unusually a didgeridoo comedian. Dinner One's passion for his Aboriginal culture has brought him to Auckland for this weekend's Oz Talks Travel Expo. He joins us now with a fair dinkum Aussie breakfast. Morning Dinner One, how are you? Good, thank you. Yourself? I'm very well, I'm very well. Let's start off by explaining this feast of food that you've brought for us. Are we eating the Australian coat of arms? Is this essentially what we're doing? Um, well, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a, a spread that was put together by a good man by the name of Mark Olive and he's going to be doing some demonstrations at Oztalk this weekend. Great. So um, we've been fortunate enough that he's put a little package together for us. So we have uh, a sample of kangaroo, some uh, smoked crocodile and a lot of uh, herbs and spices that Aboriginal people used in an everyday life. Well this one here is called a yiraki and in Aboriginal language that means new sound. So anytime you hear a new sound in your life you can say yiraki. 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 Nice. So it's um, That's beautiful. It's actually we play it by speaking language down it so all our songs that we play have a language behind it so we can tell the dancers and tell the song man what we're actually playing and they can listen. So here's a little sample just starting off with a basic uh, raspberry so it's just a simple and we get a basic effect like this. from 
the whole Sunrise team. You have a great day. We're going to leave you with our homegrown Australian Idol champion, Stan Walker. Take it away, Stan. Yeah.